I'm here tonight with four time, four time Oklahoma <laughs> State Wrestling Champion, OU wrestler, and UFC veteran Matt Grace. Matt, how you doing tonight? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. A little warm. A little, little, uh, little sweaty tonight. That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you think of the fights tonight? They were good. There was a lot of good fights tonight. I was pretty impressed. Did you have uh, any anyone stand out? Say that again. Any fight? Any particular fights stand out for you? Uh, not right now. No. Uh, like I said, I'm in the police academy until July 17th. Oh, for tonight. Oh. oh. No. Uh, you know, I thought Cole Robbins looked good tonight. You know, uh, that was girl fight was awesome. Yeah. What? I thought she squeaked it out, but you know, I'm not a lot of judge, so there I don't know. But I, there was a, there was all competitive fights tonight. Every fight was pretty competitive. I was, I was impressed. <laughs> now you fought for freestyle cage fighting yourself, actually. What's it like fighting for an organization like this, and then and then moving on to the bigger stage in the UFC? Uh, freestyle cage fighting has an awesome organization. You know, they. Uh, it's a great starter for people, you know. They get good fights, great shows. Kenny puts on a, you know, a, a top you know, tier organization. Dorothy does a great job, you know, matchmaking, and you know, it's, a, it's it helps you get ready for the next level. So I mean, I, I love it. Uh, I was actually at your very first fight, and uh, your pro very first pro fight, uh, Thunderbird there in Norman. <laughs> Fought uh, Matt Gray. Yeah. Came in, big time wrestler, won by knockout. <laughs> the nut in the box. <laughs> yeah. My corner man, was, you know, we were working on boxing. It, it was pretty sloppy, I ain't gonna lie, but I told him that, you know, this fight, I'm not going to the ground, it's, just, it's gonna be a brawl. And that's what we made it, so. Obviously, now being with the UFC, you've come a long way since that first fight. Is it, how has your game changed since since uh, moving up the ranks? Uh, you know, I feel that I became a better all-around fighter. You know, I think that uh, you know my stand-up's got a lot better. I got a lot more confidence in my stand-up now. I still feel comfortable on top, you know. And I've worked a lot on my jiu-jitsu. And I, I still feel that that's probably the, the aspect of my game I need to work on the most right now. And, and that's you know what I've been trying to do. So. Okay. You're training there in Norman? Yeah, I train. Uh, I still train at the uh, same place I started out, Matt's Paul was in Shawnee. Okay. And, uh, and also do a lot of my jiu jitsu and tight in Norman. Yeah. Uh, Scott, Scott's a good guy. Yeah, Scott's an awesome guy. Uh, your last fight with the UFC was UFC 77, fought Jason Black. Uh, actually got the fight of the night for that fight, isn't that correct? Yes, sir. And that didn't even make it on TV. How does that feel? You had the best fight of the night and nobody got to see it. Hey, uh, it figures, you know, they show me on national TV go get choked out and go to yeah. sleep. <laughs> and I get fight of the night and I win and I, and I can't even get no exposure. So, you know, that's the way it goes. But uh, I think it had a lot to do with the, the cluster at the end of the fight. You know, the call to the draw and everything, you know, changing up. And, you know, fixing the actual decision to what it was, should have been. So how did you feel after the fight? They've got your your hands held, they're getting ready to make the decision. Did you did were you just ready to hear Matt Grice? Yeah, well, of course. I thought I won I thought I dominated the fight. You know, the second round he had me in a lot of trouble at the end of the second round, but other than that, you know, I thought I, I won every other aspect of the fight, you know. And as soon as they called it a draw, uh, Jason Black walked over to me and said, You got screwed. You know? <laughs> exactly as works twice and and I, you know, I was like, you know, that's fight, you know, that's the way it is and but you know, they made the right decision, they made the right move and they fixed it, found a mistake and corrected it. So. How, how much danger were you in at the end of that second round? He, he had that triangle on pretty tight. Yeah, uh, I could breathe a little bit, you know, but uh, it was like, I think it was the blood flow. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, it's not like it's in a subway kind of. It's, 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 it's weird. But, Starting to hear your heartbeat Yeah, it was a little different, but, uh, you know, uh, I knew there was a short time and the ref was talking to me. And, you know, I kept just trying to hit back what I could. And, and I was talking to the ref as much as I could, you know, letting him know I was okay. But you know, I was... Yeah, I was in trouble a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the way it goes sometimes. Don't know. That's why they have uh, certain time frames in the round. Def you got out. Definitely. I thought the ref did an awesome job, you know, not stopping the fight at the beginning of the round when I knocked him down and then not stopping the fight, you know, at the end of the round and let, you know, me, you know, keep fighting. So. That was another thing that really stood out. That ref just lets you guys go. Yeah. I mean, he, he was awesome. I mean, he'll talk to you as long as you talk back, you know, I mean, he was. It was awesome, you know. Just a lot of refs, you know, they see someone get knocked down, down, they just fall. They're gonna you know, jump in and stop the fight. But he, you know, he let us actually fight. And, you know, and that I think that is what made the fight, you know, fight of the night. So. That's a good deal. Judges didn't help him out a little bit. But, uh... <laughs> Clay bars, everybody. <laughs> that fight took place back in October. 
You've uh, taken some time off from fighting since then. Uh, what are you doing for time right now? Right now I'm in Oklahoma City Police Academy. Uh, I graduate uh, July 17th, and uh, then i got to do some more training after that for about four months, and then I should be able to start fighting again. But I keep training, you know, working on my game, getting better, and just be you know, ready as soon as I can to go back and fight. Now how does that work contractually with the UFC? Are you still currently under contract? Yes, uh, I'm still under contract. They, what they, what Joe Silva told me is what happens, they froze my contract yeah. where it's at. Mm -hmm. It's my third fight, uh, they froze it where it's at, so he told me to let him know when I'm ready for my next fight and we'll get it set up. I told him, you know, it'd be a while, I had to go through training and all that, you know, because I have a daughter now and all that, I need to do something for my family. And just totally understanding, you know, and, which I was nervous about telling him at first, because, you yeah. know, it's the UFC, they just, you know, it don't matter, they don't, you know, so, but he was really understanding and really cool about it, and, uh, you know, I just can't wait to get back in there and fight. Yeah, you hear all, all you hear. It seems like is all the bad things that the big promotions do to the little fighters. It's nice for once to hear something where they they're actually kind of helping people out a little yeah. bit, you know. Yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say. They, you know, treated me nothing but great every time I fought for them. And you know, in this, they didn't have to give me the opportunity, you know, to, to take this break and, and do something for my family, but they they did, and you know, I appreciate it. Okay. Um, I've actually read on the internet, there's a bit of a rumor going around, you've actually been given a, a unique opportunity to do a little bit of acting. <laughs> there's a, I've been told you've been offered the starring role in an upcoming motion picture blockbuster called Blue Venom. Can, can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, man. I guess you've been talking to Scott Newell a little bit, huh? Uh, <laughs> Wait, it's no, man. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. I don't know much about it. A guy emailed me about something and sent me the script and I, I just, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do it because, you know, I, uh, in the academy and I got, I got time. I don't have the time right now. It's just, uh, but maybe in the future. We'll see. <laughs> so, the theater near you, Matt Grice, superhero. <laughs> I doubt it. But. Well, Matt, as, as always, it's been a pleasure talking to you. you uh, wish you all the best of luck uh, with, with the Police Academy. And also, uh, look forward to seeing you get back in the cage as soon as possible, man. We like watching you fight. You got anything else you want to add or talk to something to the fans? Just thanks to everybody that supports us. You know, we won't be able to do it without y'all. All of us fighters appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you, Todd.